Welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us now, we're in the middle of our first ever back to school special and with me in studio is Doug Robertson, Director of Education with the Lloydminster Catholic School Board. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, hello. <laughs> so uh, how was your summer? It was an awesome summer. Excellent. <laughs> you're feeling rested, ready for the grind? A super break, ready to get back at it. <laughs> Good. What are some things you're looking forward to in, uh, in this year's school year? Well, this year uh, we take a look back uh, a little bit at our last couple and just see just how incredible our students have been working with our staff to, to really improve student learning. So we're really wanting to, to build on the success of our previous couple of years, focusing our kids even better in terms of their student learning. So all of our first week activities here is to do just that, really ready teachers in the best way possible so that they're well planned, so that students are, are uh, well programmed for and cared for through the in, entire year. Now you are running with a small deficit this year. It's nothing too major, but um, it is you know, significant and obviously a challenge. Uh, and you didn't find it until a little bit later in the year. How is that going to affect this, this September? Well, our staff has done, and our admin staff, along with our board, have done an incredible job to uh, just handle the, the, the challenges as they arise. As you mentioned, our, we didn't receive our numbers, uh, final numbers, until early part of June. So by that time, uh, a lot of our personnel had been put into place, our programming had been already settled. So as a senior admin staff, we were able to uh, put it all together with a very small deficit. I'm sure and I'm still confident that over the course of the year we can work with this, uh, mm -hmm. looking at the new political dynamics that are, in, that are happening to us with new funding models and put it all back together again next spring. But right now we just really wanted to minimize the impact on, on students and families mm -hmm. around programming. And I think we were able to accomplish that very, very well. Are you still doing that, like into the school year here too? No, right now we, we, everything seems to, we've got all the pieces in place. Okay. Um, so we're not concerned about that, that at all. It's just a matter of us looking, and it's a term that I'm using, our finding that I'm using more and more is just recalibrating get more information this year in terms of what the, the future is going to look like in terms of funding. And speaking of funding, you had a very exciting announcement uh, last March about mm -hmm. uh, Ecole St. Thomas, which was quite literally busting at the seams, mm -hmm. uh, sort of outgrowing itself, and now you are going to be able to go ahead and build another facility um, close to your French Immersion High School here right. in, uh, Correct. also. Um, where are you guys with that plan? Well, with the, the June of 2010, or sorry, in March of, of 2010, we were given the go-ahead by the government to go mm -hmm. to the detailed drawing stage. So we've been working with our architects and engineers to create the blueprints um, for what this new building will actually look like. Uh, we're, we've set our own deadlines, and our own deadlines is the end of October, beginning of November, to have the whole process signed, sealed, and delivered, sitting on the minister's desk. Uh, the minister's been very clear that uh, any new funding for capital will be announced in June or sorry in March of the 2011 budget so we want to be prepared though in the event that there's new money because of economic turnaround in in Saskatchewan Western Canada resources that uh, if there is new capital money we're in a position that if they could give us a go-ahead we could go to tender early but uh, uh, right now, we're on schedule to have everything to the minister by that end of October, beginning of November. And what are you doing in the meantime at St. Thomas to sort of compensate for the, the room issues? Well, our, our enrollments at Equal St. Thomas continue to grow. And last year, we expired uh, all of the areas within the, the confines of the building. So we're very fortunate this year to, to also have approval for four additional module classrooms that were put into place and readied for the beginning of, of this school year. Along with that is the internal pressures of the building just for washrooms. So there was a fifth module that was placed that will provide both uh, girls and boys washroom facilities. And that too will really help alleviate some of the uh, um, space issues in the building. Why is French immersion so popular? People looking at, uh, at second language is a, a real opportunity for their students to, to just expand, I guess, their second language. And there's just a greater desire globally for it. Uh, mm -hmm. We see it in all sorts of language programs. An amazing job to promote languages with, with uh, uh, something like 13 different curricula to support language development in, in cities. So our focus here is to build a solid second language program around French immersion, and uh, with the kind of growth we're seeing in it, it's I think it is a reflection of a quality program for for students and their families. So French immersion or not, what do you hope that a kid who comes into kindergarten in the Catholic school board and graduates in grade 12, uh, what do you hope they leave with? Well, we really do hope that, uh, you know, when we see those little kids coming into kindergarten and then see them standing on the graduation scale or stage, that they are just so ready 
for mm -hmm. life. I mean, that's what it is, to, to really ready them from, from an academic perspective and, and from a Catholic faith perspective, that they are, are readied for, for, the, uh, for the rest of their, their lives. And it's so validated, you know, mm -hmm. when we have kids that will come back and, and, and see us after they've graduated. And then they can tell the stories of the impact that we have made on them. Uh, that is so reaffirming, reassuring uh, for all the efforts of K to grade 12 that we put into kids. That's just wonderful to hear from our graduates. Well, I look forward to seeing it this year for sure. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you're just joining us now, we're in the middle of our conversation with Doug Robertson, Director of Education for the Lloydminster Catholic School Board. Coming up on Around the Region, the first day of school. We'll take you back into the world of recess, gym class, and announcements. That's after the break.